What's up, guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig. Let's get into the charts. Before we do, um, I know a lot of people have been asking for a lot of different altcoins, so make sure you list the altcoin of your choice down in the bottom, and I will add that into Friday's video, whatever ones get the most requests. Uh, but before we begin, let's take a second out, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments below on what you think is going on with the markets. Also, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you want daily updates. I'm, I'm back to three, going to try to do five days a week maybe, but as of right now, we're on three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so let's get into it. Let's talk about what's going on. Are we going to witness another depression like the Great Depression? I, myself, my opinion is yes, we are, and I believe it's going to be pretty bad. We'll talk about it in the charts. Um, what does that mean for Bitcoin and everything else? Bitcoin is not a hedge, in my opinion, against the true markets. If anyone's really watched the markets for any period of time, you know that when the markets drop hard, everything drops. Uh, gold and silver might not drop as much as the total market, but they all drop with it. Um, any The higher an asset is of speculation, like Bitcoin is super high speculation, those get hit the hardest and if bitcoin gets hit hard being speculative what do you think is going to happen to altcoins they'll get hit way harder some of them will probably disappear but again that's my opinion none of this is financial advice but i'm going to show you my thoughts right now on the charts we're going to take a look at the dow jones uh, and then we'll take a look at some bitcoin charts right so let's take a look at the dow right now if the dow is making a top right here and has not topped we would go up and look for either way guys the end result is horrible right the end result is major major downside where i don't care if you bought up in these ranges and you're doing great on paper those profits can disappear very quickly Let, let's take a look guys look around at the economy the economy is trashed it's totally trashed. I don't care what the news says, what they try to put out there. Um, the markets will get caught up with the true economy. Anyways, let's take a look at what's going on. So this is the area I look for. If this does break, this 36 uh, 228 area, if we hit this before hitting here, if we hit this and break, uh, you're looking at about 19 to 20,000 actually could go a lot further that would probably be a good area for a bounce big rally before continuation of the downside if that does happen but let's take a look at over here so if you look at the right you can see the great depression right and if you think that anybody was expecting it and actually if you want to do some research i'm not going to do your research for you well, well i've already done the research but why don't you look into how the political uh Things were going on when all this happened. Look at how they were fighting back then. And then you make your own decision. But every history repeats itself, right? And we are getting ready to repeat this, I do believe. I think this will be multiple years of downside with multiple decades of upside. And taking multiple decades back to get back up to where this is, right? Um, history charts markets everything runs in cycles we are in a hundred year cycle in my opinion and this could get very ugly you don't have to believe me you don't have to think my opinion's right you could think i'm wrong it doesn't matter you know everybody's gonna think different no two people are gonna say the same exact thing right well unless they're just copying what someone else said but uh, this th there's so many things pointing to this um and, and I try to keep it in simple terms for people, as simple as possible. Just look around. We are in some crazy times, right? So I do believe we are most likely going to see this. Like I said back here, you can see another top here. A lot of people are trying to compare this to 2008 right here. I think to this, what's coming is going to make 2008, um, the financial crisis, look like a little blip compared to what I believe is coming. So this would be a correction of about 95%. Believe it or not, when bubbles pop, that's what happens. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. So this is the four hour chart. I gave you this count. 
um, that I'm looking for, and it would get our next level down to about 40,300, if I'm correct on this wave count. This being a big wave three that we're going after now, but the waves within the waves, yellow here, our wave three would get us down to about 40,100-ish, maybe 43. Uh, but after that, expecting a bounce up to the 50 to 52, maybe even higher range before continuing down to our main third wave, which is going to be around 26,000 and get another rally up. But that's long term. Let's look at the short term here and then we'll take a look at the really long term. Right. And I'll show you other reasons why. Just remember when I show you these charts coming up. That if that Great Depression style crash comes, what will happen to Bitcoin? We're going to take a look at that. Uh, so anyways, as of right now, let me get the, some of this stuff out of the way. Let's try to figure out what's going on right here. And I believe that we are going to be seeing, obviously, some more downside here. But what we need to keep an eye on are these fibs. And I gave you these in the last video, right? This is just a fib retracement from this high to this low. Our first area was the 53.9, which was the 0.236. And then we have our next level, the 0.382, at around 57.54. That's where we're currently getting rejected. Now, if we continue getting rejected here, I look for us to come back down and retest this 54. If it holds, then we may come up for another shot at this. If this breaks, then we look for the 0.5 fib at 59.5. And then, of course, the golden pocket zone, somewhere between 62 and uh, 62.7, somewhere in that range. But I would expect a, a rejection here if we even get up there. This could be our rejection area, and we continue down from here, guys. Could have been like a, you know, we're in this first wave count, right? One, two, three, or actually this being one, two, this big one being a three, this being a four, and we're still waiting our five down to these levels, so... We'll see what happens there, but remember, if we get up above this 57, 54 area, uh, I do expect, and that means open and close from four hours above it, then look for that 59.5. And what this often does in the retracement levels, right, in your fibs, if it does get up here, it would probably come up here, retest the bottom again, maybe twice before breaking here, if it's going to be bullish, right? But you, these numbers are going to be very significant, right? If we did already right we'll come back down and test this and if that breaks we'll probably get a bounce around our low and then continue on down um, i will be keeping you updated on this stuff on twitter also but let's take a look at some other things i've been watching so i do believe this is probably a huge one two three four five wave count before a big crash to the downside right um, if you guys are interested in trading before we get into longer term charts, check out Prime XBT. My link is down below. Um, as you guys know, I give out free promo codes for $200 accounts. You don't even have to have a deposit, but you do need to uh, use my link to get set up. Um, I'll explain more on Twitter lately. We're going to change the way up. We give those promo codes. Um, just make sure you sign up using my link down below, and then you'll be eligible for some of the pro promo codes. All right, let's take a look at the Amazon.com bubble here on the left compared to what I believe to be the crypto bubble on the right. As you can see, it was a huge triple top, huge triple top, more continuation to the downside. You can see lots of up and down, guys. This is a monthly chart, so this could take multiple, multiple years, right, of downside. So all the people, if this does happen, that bought up here, think they're geniuses, are going to ride it right back into a loss. Um, I do believe my targets are still 3,500 to 9,700 for a bottom of this bear market. Um, my opinion doesn't have to be yours, but be cautious, be aware, be careful, and be ready for anything. So this is, I've I've explained this, you can go back in my other videos so I don't have to keep repeating myself on what indicator this is, but it's indicated every major top, right? And it indicated this as a major top with more downside to come. And if you look here, we just got another red blip on the three day, so we're probably going to continue down just like we do every time when we get in these ranges. So be careful, guys. Um, and that's pretty much about it for today. Tomorrow or Friday, don't know which yet, 
Uh, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up. Leave your comments. I know a lot of people have been asking for Solana and some other crypto. So whatever I get the most requests for in the bottom, I will add into the next video. A quick chart and looking at what my views are for where they're going. As you guys know, two years ago, I told you uh, when the Bitcoin, before the Bitcoin crash was coming, where all them targets were. And all of them hit, if you go look. So I thought we were going to continue down from there. Um, but again, as the market played out, I realized this was not the third top, that this was actually the third top in my opinion. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Just remember, be careful out there. There's some big stuff going to happen. Um, either way, even if we get another little top in the markets, right, another high in uh, traditionals, the end result is the same, in my opinion, of course, so... All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Be careful out there. Don't trade more than you're willing to lose. And always, always, always use risk management. Have a, have a great day.